Hello friend, I am Aruno. This weekend I uh, do looking for the project to send data to server and the server for use the data real time and check the data everywhere in the world. I found Firebase server from Google to uh, help me for this my project. So I am not expert. Anyway, I just start for this Firebit. I try to learn from the, this video. I recommend you guys for the first start. Let me go to watch this video. You hell and this. I think this Firebit has a lot of feature. Maybe really interesting. Maybe it will help you guys to do the project also. For my project is for combination between Arduino and Firebird. Uh, the Firebird is a part of Google uh, platform, and you can go to the Google and search Google here for Firebird. Then you click uh, Firebird here. Then we go in the Firebird, Google, and go to console. Click go to console. Then you will see this page, and you click add project. The next step for clear the project, you put your project name. I put fire demo is my project. Then you select your country. For me, I click Thailand and create project. Take uh, for a while for create your project, and then you go to project overview and setting for project setting. This step you will go to service account. My computer a little bit slowly, easy, take it easy. So and then you go to database secret to we will take the secret code from database. So then you have you uh, put your mouse here and then you have the button show for you and you just click show the you show your code and then you copy copy that by click that yeah this will show you uh, the already copy in process in clipboard And then you open a uh, code from Firebit uh, example from IDE example example. Then you find you looking for the Firebit. I don't know. And you select Firebit. Uh, Firebit demo for ESP8266. And then you will get the code here. This is the code from example when you already install, uh, I don't know, library. 
uh, five bit Arduino library I will explain later. So you get the code and you put the code here that control V and then you offset for paste the code and then you uh, go to database. The next step is click to database. Yes. Then you click, click get start. In this step, you copy this uh, web browser, your website here. HTTP S colon slash slash five bit blah blah blah. Uh, anyway, we you don't want the HTTP HTTP slash slash and the slash. But anyway, you copy all, copy all of this, and put in the IDE here. You put the control V then or you paste and you just delete delete the uh, select select in front and HTTP is colon and the select behind so the next step you push your SSID and password for your Wi-Fi user and password And then finish your step. This step, when you are set, you just and then you compile. When you compile, you found something is error because of. You have to include this ESP8266 HTTP client by you add by go to sketch in close library here. Then you have include, then compile again. Then you done for compile. The next step for Upload. You check your board. Make sure it is not MCU. I use not MCU. ESP8266 port number eight. And then upload. Then you then upload. You will get. The database database view show you here you see you see the reason of the IDE code will send data to database and make uh, some message hello world and they uh, update the, the number here so this is a uh, sample sample for the database and uh, I don't know send to send the data to Firebit for update in the Firebit yeah yeah this yes this is all for my project for this week this weekend I think this is for helpful for you guys and thank you for watching if helpful uh, please recommend or or suck it for my video and I will improve my video uh, next time and enjoy your project thank you for watching bye bye